And welcome back. It's 916. A first of its kind museum that pays tribute to America's combat heroes will soon open in Texas. The National Medal of Honor Museum broke ground in Arlington on Friday. Joining us now to talk about the museum is President and CEO Chris Cassidy. So good morning, Chris. Thank you very much for being here. First off, let's let's talk about the medal itself. What is the Medal of Honor and how the new museum is going to pay tribute to those who have earned that prestigious award? Well, good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, the, the Medal of Honor is our nation's highest award for valor on the battlefield. And, uh, you know, it's it's actually quite amazing that a national scale museum uh, to commemorate this medal and the recipients themselves doesn't exist yet. So we're really proud to bring it to the state of Texas, uh, beginning break with breaking ground now and opening the doors in two years. And speaking of that, why did organizers choose Texas for the museum? Well, that's a great question. You know, the, the, there was an effort, uh, the Medal of Honor Society, which is just the recipients themselves, is headquartered in Charleston, South Carolina. And there was an effort over the last few years to get a museum there. Uh, but the foundation prior to my arrival did a national search to figure out where is the best place. And, you know, here in the DFW Metroplex in Texas specifically, centrally located in the country, uh, the plot of land that we have is near the football stadiums, baseball stadiums, Six Flags, close to DFW Airport, accessible to many Americans. So we just feel like this is a really, really great spot uh, in the heart, heartland of Texas and centrally located. Obviously, the DFW is, is a great spot, especially for tourists who can come in and out of Texas. But how much did the fact that Texas has, I, I believe, 15 military bases located in the state, a lot of them here around San Antonio. San Antonio is known as Military City USA. So how much did the, the role of the military in this state play a part in, uh, in bringing this museum to Texas? You know, the patriotic nature of the state of, of all Texans is, is uh, near and dear to our heart on the project. And that certainly... Um, is a factor and, and the willingness of, of the state of Texas to help us out and get us a, a site that's build, buildable, all of that um, is, is a huge factor. And having it be close to all the cities in Texas, specifically San Antonio, as I say, which is Military City USA. And how can people support the museum going forward and learn more about the project? We've got a web, uh, website, mohmuseum.org. You can learn all about it. It's a physical museum here in Texas, which will house a leadership institute, which is actually the, the part of the project that the recipients are most excited about. And then a monument on the mall in D.C. We've raised $165 million. We need 217 so we're chugging along. Uh, but you can support us and learn about us right there on the website. And when can we expect for the museum to be open and people can actually come visit? Yeah, it's about a two and a half year build. So somewhere in uh, September, October of 2024. So football season of 2024 is, is when we're planning to open the doors. All right. That'll be awesome. That's very awesome cool. Timing. Yep. Well, Chris Cassidy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Man. Thank you for having me. And good luck with that museum. And uh, thanks for bringing it to Texas. I know the folk down here Our are going to love that. Thank you. Appreciate your service, too. Thank you, sir.